Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. I really can't be in tune with this song because I didn't rehearse. Okay, anyway, uh, welcome back to more Pokemon Crystal. In the last part, we defeated Faulkner and headed to the ruins of Alf really quick. This guy's like, you must have some good Pokemon there. He will go ahead and give you... A... Miracle Seed, which increases the power of Grass-type moves. Great to have if you got a Chikorita or any Grass-type on your team for that matter. It makes your Grass moves a lot more powerful. I believe it gives you a Poison Barb and Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Not 100% sure about that. If I'm wrong, something will appear on the screen right now. If I'm right, then nothing will appear and I'll just be awesome like that. Uh, going out here, um, there's a few new wild Pokemon for you to find. Wow. Of course, I sure timed that well. Uh, first off being Ekans, which we did not find, unfortunately. Uh, Ekans is only in Silver. Um, Ekans is not too bad of a poison type early in the game. It really is outclassed by other poison types later, so I wouldn't exactly recommend picking one up. But that's just me. Um, next up on the list of new Pokemon, this is one of the best Pokemon you can get, and just about everyone I know uses one, is Mareep. Mareep is an electric type. It's a slow electric type. But it learns great moves, it has fantastic stats other than speed once it's fully evolved, it can work for physical and special, it's just an all-around really great Pokemon. Um, next up is Wooper. Yes, you can find Wooper here in the daytime, or uh, excuse me, morning or night. Uh, Wooper is actually a pretty good Pokemon. It's a pretty defensive water type. It's slow, but it's not bad, and like I said, if you can look that happy all the time and have no arms, you are amazing, and you are truly a king among kings. And that should just about do it for the new Pokemon that you can find here. Um, yeah, only two. Well, there's actually more, and by the way, come up here, there's a Great Ball. Great Balls have a better chance of catching Pokemon than a Pokeball, so that's really nice to pick up. Now that all that's over, let's see if we can sneak past this guy, Metal Gear! Yes! And going down here, without fighting any trainers on that whole route, we are now going to meet... This guy, how would you like to have this tasty, nutritious slow book tail? For you are now only one million Poké Dollars. You want this? No, because we cannot possibly hold that much money. Oh, it's been true. All right, whatever. Go ahead and press A right here. You can find a Great Ball again. This is not in Heart Gold and Soul Silver, only in the original. This hidden item is not here. Uh, if you come here on Fridays, you can meet Frida Friday here, who will give you a Poison Barb, uh, which increases the power of Poison-type moves. Pretty good item to have. Uh, when you get to the Pokemon Center, talk to this guy. He'll be like, this is a great fishing spot. I saw a lot of people fishing. How about you? It's good to hear that you're an angler, too. And he gives you an old rod. This is introduces uh, fishing into the game. Uh, you can basically catch Pokemon um, by just sticking your rod in the water. And, ugh, I should not have said that. Uh, from fishing on this route, you can find um, three, oh, two new Pokemon normally. Uh, these two new Pokemon, uh, for one is Magikarp. Magikarp is extremely difficult to raise, widely recognized to be the worst Pokemon in existence. But it can evolve into Gyarados, which is a really great Pokemon to have, but personally I wouldn't recommend picking up a Magikarp just because you're going to be able to get Gyarados a lot easier later in the game. And I mean a lot easier. Uh, second up is Tentacool. Tentacool uh, has great special defense and it learns fantastic moves, great type, water poison. And it's actually good to have. For being such a common Pokemon, it's actually very good. You would not think something so common would be so useful. Uh, where the heck am I going? Anyway, though, now that that is over, and I've done recommending stuff, uh, you're going to want to fight this trainer here. Uh, I'm not going to be doing any fishing, though, but I do want to fight this trainer for a reason that you'll see here in just a moment. In just a moment, Fisherman Ralph. He has a Goldeen that, like, waves its fins at us, and that's supposed to be threatening somehow. Uh, we'll go ahead and switch out to Odairu, right here. Odairu! I don't know what it is with me talking in Moonspeako in this episode, but whatever. Uh, Goldeen's using Peck on us, of course. Let's go ahead and go ahead and... Let's go ahead and go ahead, okay. Great English there. I think the Japanese-ness is rubbing off on me. And Japanese-ness, yeah, that proves it right there. Go on, Peck me. Go on, peck me more. Build my rage. Make me rage! I'm gonna get furious on your butts. I don't know what accent I'm trying to achieve here. All of my accents make no sense. There are no nationality whatsoever, and they all sound exactly the same, so I'm not even gonna try to make any meanings of that. And... Oh, you jerk! Confusion! Uh, this is confusion. You attack yourself every other... Well, not every other turn, but 50% chance of attacking yourself each turn. Yeah. 
really, really annoying. And you're going to be seeing lots of it in this game. So get used to it. Bitterberries heal it, like I've said before. And cool! Two Pokemon Gorilla level. Alright, now once you defeat this trainer... Go ahead and... <laughs> try to brush things. Yeah, shut up. Talk to him again. And he says that he's seen a rare Pokemon while fishing. Go ahead and trade phone numbers with him. He'll call you when the rare Pokemon Quillfish appears. Quillfish is not a very good Pokemon. It has terrible stats. It's not a good Pokemon. No, by no means as good as uh, Water Poison type as Tentacle is. And great, I got noticed. Uh, but it's a rare Pokemon, and this is an easy way to find it if you give him your phone number. And if you want to complete your Pokedex, it's a good way to find it. I'm so jealous. Now that that's over, we had that annoying random battle. Uh, once you've gone ahead and healed up, uh, like I have, I suppose, um, minus a few PP, uh, go ahead and head down here, and there is a trainer right there. If you want to avoid him, you can. I'm probably going to be going back and fighting some of these trainers off screen uh, between this part and the next part just because I need the experience because Fampy's under leveled. But anyway, go ahead and head in here and. Welcome to Union Cave, the second, well, first real required official dungeon in the game. Union Cave um, does not really have any HMs that are usable to you. You can't really use Flash here, um, so wouldn't worry about using HMs while you're here. Don't even need any HMs yet. Uh, one new Pokemon is here that we haven't covered before, which is Sandshrew. Sandshrew is slow and defensive. Um, personally, I prefer Fanpy for a ground type, though, but I guess Sandshrew's not too bad. And I guess for playing Gold and Silver, you can't have a Fanpy this early in the game, so... Um, personally, if you want a good ground type, I'd recommend Wooper a lot more, because it's other same type attack bonus is just so much better. Um, but yeah, it's not something I'd recommend, personally, because there's much better ground types. Uh, anyway, though, let's go ahead and head through here, and what's great about this dungeon is none of the stores up to this point sell repels! At least not in the original game they don't. So guess what? We're gonna have a lot of random encounters! Thankfully, this place is only one floor on your first visit. Well, two floors, actually, if you want to do some exploring. But yeah, we're gonna be having loads of random encounters. I actually might even post-commentate the next video, just because it's gonna be really annoying. Maybe you should comment below. Uh, go ahead and leave a comment below if you want me to post-commentate this or not, because if I post-commentate, it'll go a lot smoother. If I don't post-commentate it, I'm probably gonna get very frustrated, and my commentary is gonna be kind of choppy or we'll be showing random battles, or I don't know. Whatever you want. Apparently a lot of people want to see me get frustrated. Jeez, we're like five steps in and we've had two encounters already. Um, anyway though, we've gone ahead and gotten into the second dungeon and we're actually already pretty far through it, if you can believe that. We're probably already about a fourth of the way through this because it's a short dungeon. Uh, but anyway, uh, we're gonna go ahead and save the rest of this dungeon for the next part, all right? So next time on Pokemon Crystal, we are going to be going through Union Cave. See you guys, Kilrotata! Then. Ooh, real quick, Fanfigure level! Eek! Alright, bye for now.